What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Cam ATL. Shout out to the DFS squad. Shout out to everybody watching this video right now. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you comment anything other than fuck you, Cam, down in the comments section. Preferably, love you, Cam. Thanks, Cam. You're the man, Cam. I'd appreciate that. You know what I mean? B boost me up a little bit. Make me feel good. Uh... Thank you guys for watching me as always. Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to keep you too long. It was a clean sweep for the Greenlight DFS squad. Uh, go to greenlightdfs.com to join the squad. Cashed in on MLB. Cashed in on NBA. It was a great night all around. Let's keep that going. Um, on this Wednesday slate, there is a decent size early slate. And anytime there's a decent size early slate, we tackle both of them. So everybody who gets the VIP lineup memberships on greenlightdfs.com for MLB, We'll get the early slate and the ML and the main slate for that price of one. As long as you get it before the early slate starts, you'll get both slates. All right? Instead of just one, you'll get the early slate as well. And we've been dominating these early slates easily. It's been easy. All right? So let's go ahead and get it, man. Greenlightdfs.com. Let's keep this heat going. Let's get straight into this high five. Starting off, first pitcher, Cole Hamels. Not going to think too much about it. I've been picking on Miami all year long. Ended up going Quintana um, in the lineup last night. He did absolutely amazing. Did exactly what I needed him to do. And Cole Hamels is in the spot to do the same thing. Pitcher-friendly ballpark against a strikeout-heavy Miami team that not only strikes out a ton but just can't hit the ball too well. Love Cole Hamels. Not much exp explanation needed. You guys know that. Now, this SP2 is where I struggle. Now, I will say this. DraftKings has Yanni Chirinos projected as starter. He will not be starting. The guy who's going to be starting is Stanek. Now, Stanek only pitches one to two innings, so don't worry too much about that. If Chirinos, after some more studying, make sure 100%, but I'm going to say this. If Chirinos does start, I love him at home in Tampa Bay against Baltimore. Okay, Hess is going to get blown up by Baltimore. So I love Toronto to get the win. I mean, Tampa Bay to get the win, and I love Chirinos. Okay, so if Chirinos will be will be the one coming in after Stanek, then I definitely want Chirinos. But if that's not the case and it's somebody else, I like Jake Odorizzi at home in Minnesota going against Toronto. Toronto is a team that sometimes they tend to show up, okay? But they're going to be in Minnesota. I'm liking Odorizzi at home against this Toronto team that one has the highest strikeout rate of any team in the league. I mean, there's a ton of guys in that lineup with over a 25% K rate. There's even like three of them over a 30%. It's ridiculous. They strike out a ton. So Odorizzi's strikeout rates to go up, raising his floor a little bit. I love him at 7-7. Seven, seven. All right. Now, first base. I got to play the guy playing in Arlington with all of the power, Justin Bohr. This guy always plays when they're facing a righty, and he gets the privilege of going against uh, our boy who just, I mean, he's very, very, very good versus righties. Lance Lynn throughout his career has been really, really good versus right-handed bats. So I'm not going to be picking on him too much with righties even in Texas, okay, because he's been solid versus righties. But lefties, he gets destroyed by lefties, okay? Justin Bohr is in an amazing spot. He crushes righties against a pitcher that struggles versus lefties. He's got a 199 ISO and over a 340 Woba um, versus righties. I love Bohr in this Arlington Stadium that helps out these home run hitters. Justin Bohr, love him at 4,000. Next up, matter of fact, all of my bats are from this game. Shin Su Chu, love him. Lefty matchup. In a great matchup here against Matt Harvey. I will be picking on Matt Harvey with as many Texas lefties as I can possibly afford. Joey Gallo, has, his price has gone up big time. If I'm able to afford him, I will have him in. Texas lefties need to be played versus Matt Harvey. Even the righties, Matt Harvey is not good. He had some moments last year from time to time where he would pitch fairly solid. But Matt Harvey is a guy who can definitely get exploded at, in Texas. And this Texas offense has been putting up runs. All right, so Shin Su Chu most likely leading off lefty-righty matchup against a bad pitcher in a hitter-friendly ballpark at home. Shin Su Chu, thank you very much. Last but not least, another guy. He actually got the day off yesterday because they were facing a lefty, but Cole Calhoun. He will be back to leading off for LA, most likely. I'd expect so. Against Lynn, the righty. I explained the same reasoning for Boar is the same reasoning I like Calhoun. 
Okay, the stadium is amazing for hitters. Um, runs should be put up. He's facing a pitcher who is solid versus right-handed pit, uh, batters, but struggles versus lefties. So I'm going to take advantage with some of these well-priced lefties of LA and what should be a good night for LA here and Texas. Both sides of the both of these teams, I love. All right, so Cole Calhoun at only three nine is a steal for me, and he has to be locked in. And that's it. Cole uh, Cole Hamels. I was about to say Cole Calhoun at pitcher. Cole Hamels, Jake Odorizzi. But remember, don't forget. If Chirinos is going to be the guy coming in, you will be able to see that news. Go online, Google it, whatever, throughout the day, later on through the day when they finally come out with that information. But they will mention it. Last time, I ended up hearing it was going to be Yarbrough after I put Chirinos in the high five. So I commented down below and said Yarbrough looks like Yarbrough will be starting. So I'm pivoting to somebody totally different. This time, I do expect it to be Chirinos. But if Chirinos is not starting... It needs to be Jake Odorizzi. Justin Bohr in Texas, Shin Su Chu, and Cole Calhoun. Remember, we're killing that early slate and the main tomorrow for MLB. So join the squad before the early slate starts. Get both those slates. GreenlightDFS.com. Let's keep killing it.